Okay, we're going to start with a clean knife, hot water, and wash the knife well, rinse it off, and we'll go into this drawer for the handy dandy edge restore. Lay it over, lay the knife over 21 degrees to the sharpening stone and there you have it. Put it away because you're cleaning as you go. We've got our sponge. We have washed our cutting board and now we're going to turn on we're going to turn on the top down first thing we're going to do is knock the head off and look and see we have no rotten spots Oop, there we go no rotten spots we're going to elevate this a little bit we put that in the sink clean off some of our goodies crumbs and we're going to tail this and we see we have just a, a little bit of a rotten spot a little more okay so we're going to hold that to the side and now we're going to okay cut this we're going to shave off the husk if that's what it's called those are little flowers let me show you that each one of each one of these was a little flower it's a little ovary okay see that it was a little ovary and back in here well this was the flower and this is where the ovary was and that's where the fruit is born like an apple pear peach this one has inflorescence or multiple little flowerettes like a sunflower that's why sunflowers have so many seeds and of course this one this one has so many um, ovaries and fruit. So I'm going to take all of this, lift up my garbage can, and dump it. Oop, it's got one. Now, my knife is basically clean again. I'm going, this is very juicy pineapple. I let it get very ripe, but not rotten. So now we can clean off our sponge so we still have good working tools. Yep, clean sponge. Gonna wipe down the deck because we are now going to split this into quarters. Now you can see that this is the growth. Plants grow from the inside to the out. And as you can see, this is the base. This is where the stem was. This has got the most wood in it. This has the least. You can see it started to uh, sugar in the lower area. So now what we'll do is we'll turn it over flat and cut it in quarters. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. You can do a top down so that you can guide yourself along the, the spline or you can just guess at it, have a little more safety and cut off that piece like that. I prefer this method and just feel it and any excess I can eat. Okay. A little shaver on there. And now I want to cut 
I want to cut each of these quarters into eighths and chop bits for salads and for freezing for smoothies. Okay? And all of this is a test of using or positioning the GoPro cameras for this type of demonstration. The upper camera, overhead camera, so I don't have these things both positioned correctly so they're both seeing exactly the same thing. I think that's my lesson out of this. And since I don't have a TV back on the on the upper camera, I can't see where the the other cam the lower camera or the chesty is aiming. So now I'm going to get a one gallon freezer bag and load my fruit to freeze some and refrigerate some but right now I'm just going to refrigerate the whole bag divide it up later notice the juice that's a good sign that it's nice and ripe plenty of juice and make sure that it's not running underneath the cutting board I'm going to seal this bag, take the air out of it, and then I'm going to, I should have put the date on it before, and then I'll put it in the refrigerator for salads. Next, I want to clean my sponge. And I'm going to take a plate and put these leftovers on here and nibble on that. Take my, what's this called? Chlorup Cleanup Bleach. And I'm going to sterilize with bleach the cutting board. It also helps keep the sponge clean. Okay. We'll rinse off the sponge. Now we'll be able to plant this and have new growth out of it. Interesting, huh? The new growth will come out of these leaves. Sorry for the noise. Okay. And my next demonstration is how to take the skin off of a sliced piece of cantaloupe. What is that, about a sixteenth of a piece of cantaloupe. You cut it in half, then you cut it in quarters, then you cut it in eighths until you get down to something this size. Then you slice on the bevel, trying not to take too much meat off with the skin. Keep the fruit oriented. Whoops. Keep the fruit oriented. Or you could take a paring knife and see, mm. so delicious, it's very sweet, anything sweet is going to have a lot of calories, that's why bread is so tasty, okay, there you have it, it's um, uh, beautiful to put on the breakfast plate or 
the solid plate and then we can get rid of our peelings along with the husks of the pineapple. And there you have it.